Hello everyone, this is Miss T with Miss T's T-shirt calculator. Today we're going to go over a new release that we have, version 12. It's been out for a minute, but I haven't done a video to it to show you all the new things uh, that we have. When you download the calculator, it will come in a zip file. You'll unzip the file and open it up. Version 12 has two different versions, mainly because in 2016, you're going to use, there are two different options for you to use. If you're working out of 2016, then you need to go in and check and see which version of the calculator you need to download. Other than that, you can just go ahead and use the regular 32-bit version. But in order for you to know which one, you can open up Excel. When you open Excel, go down to Accounts. Under Accounts, click About Excel. You will see the version of Excel that you're running right here. Mine says Microsoft Office Excel 2016, 32-bit. Okay, so that's how you know which one that you're that you're needing to run. So I'm going to close that out. Let's close this out. It's another calculator that I have open, and we're going to click this one, and we're going to run the 32-bit. Once you click on the 32-bit, you can just downsize that. You'll get a splash will open up, and the page one of the calculator will open. Uh, once you get to page one, you're just gonna, it's just like all of the other quotas that we have out there. You're gonna enter in your company information. This one still sets up in 10 steps, so in about 10 minutes, you should be up and moving. Enter in your information here. And you just change all of this, go to next. Once you're here at next, you, you see that you have a price list. This price list is loaded with t-shirts, folks, okay? So the brand, if you wanna see the brands, and let's see, let me just put some headers here so I can show y'all some stuff, okay? Let's see here. Sword and filter. Let me put my sword and filter on. Okay. Now I can go in. I can show you the different brands that are in the calculator. And this is the ones that, these are the ones that are loaded. A4, Adams, Adidas, Advil, Badger, Bayside, Bella Canvas, Champion, uh, Chenard, which is also Comfort Colors, uh, Code 5, Dry Duck, a bunch of them, Gildan, Haynes, J America jerseys, etc., 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 and you can also add in um, products very easily with this calculator. Okay, if you wanted to search by style number, this is a way that you could use this sheet and just show you something um, that you may want to do. So, let's say if I want to know if a product is in my catalog, I can go in here, type in 5000. Anything that I have that has 5,000 in that number that will uh, pop up, you, you use uh, this top, these top little buttons here, okay? Um, let's go back and select all. Now, the good thing about the price list is if I have retail customers, I could go ahead and do a blank uh, price sheet for them if I wanted to. Very easy to do. You just go in and show your tabs. Oops, sorry. And show my tabs, and I'm going to view all of my headlines and my formula bar. Okay, so I could easily just close these two out here, um, E and F. I could I could hide this. Or just click here, click on home, go up, click view, and hide these two tabs, and then I would only have my retail costs. But here's here's how the calculator works. So you have your product, okay? And you've got the wholesale cost here in this category. You've got your markup percentage here, and then you've got your retail cost. The retail cost is the cost of white t-shirts, okay? You guys know that in our industry with most brands, they that's how they price. So the cost is going to be um, the cost of uh, white t-shirts. And you can change your markup here. Let's say, for example, this uh, zero 
54X is uh, marked at uh, 575 wholesale. Let's say we went in and changed that. We only we didn't want to charge for shirts. We could do 100% markup. That'll change that cost there in that tab. So you can go in. You can change that markup uh, to what you want it to be. You can lower it. You can do 100% markup is just the price that you paid for it. 200% markup is double the price that you paid for it. So you can go in and do that. This one's loaded up with over a thousand cat. Uh, a thousand uh, products and you've got some little things here that kind of tell you different things that you can do let's go to next step three step three you've got shirt colors and this is where you would put in up charges for shirt colors there are a few colors here you can go in where it says other and change that and add your own uh, you've got here you can do a markup across the board of a dollar if you wanted to and if you just arrow down that would change that markup to all colored shirts for a dollar. We leave that so that you can change that yourself because um, some people charge one thing for white shirts. They charge separate. They charge an up cost for uh, colored shirts, whether it be light shirts versus dark shirts. Uh, here's some little information on adding uh, markups to your to your shirts. Okay okay so then you've got your screen printing setup costs and all of that that stuff is uh pretty much self-explanatory i think we've got another video that goes over this from some of the older stuff differences in this calculator you can now quote up to eight colors uh, and i believe it's four locations in this one so we've got primary secondary and sleeve or odd uh, places and then we've also got discount rates okay so let's say at 30 at 36 percent a discount rate of one that is a hundred percent which is just a regular cost okay 72 shirts that's a 10 percent discount uh, 0.80 is equal to a 20 20 percent discount everything anything above one is adding uh to your to your cost so you can uh, it tells you here how to go in and do that. So we go to step five. Step five, this t-shirt calculator, you can deal with um, photos, ink transfers, digital printing costs, things like that. You can set the price uh, cost for light garments for a transfer. And this is would be for the transfer only, not including the shirt. So let's say if we've got a default price in here of $12 for one piece, at 12 pieces that cost is going to drop down to uh ten dollars at 24 pieces it's going to drop down to eight and you can go in and you can edit all of this and set your prices up how you want them to be because each market in different areas across the united states they're going to have you know different prices so you just kind of you know figure those out on your own uh, you also have a place to uh, add names and numbers to the back of your shirts and things like that. And that's just one set price, you know, because it's individual, individual names and numbers, and that's there. So let's go to step seven. Step seven, you can add uh, artwork fees if the artwork is ready and you don't charge a fee. That'll pop up. Text only artwork, um, custom logos, stock logos, and anything here in the yellow these are all areas that you can add uh, fees to so let's go to step eight step eight is for your delivery options if you do rush fees or anything like that and it'll give you a finished completion date and then we also added some stuff down here for shipping for those of you who want shipping options step nine you're just going to add in your local state sales tax and you're done let's go to step 10 Congratulations, you've just created your very own custom t-shirt quoter. Now you can give quotes on just about any product almost instantly, okay? And as an added bonus with this calculator, you're able to go in, it turns your quotes into printable invoices with the click of a button. So we're gonna go ahead, open it up and show you guys how to use this thing. So here we go. Once you've set up everything, your company's name would be here in all of your company's information. Okay, your invoice number is here. Got an invoice date, your estimated completion date. And this date will change depending on what you select as you go through the calculator. You would in, uh, 
input information here your customers information okay so the main thing that we've got that we did to version 12 which is uh, just phenomenal and is I'm very excited about is that we added a product search bar product search bar is going to make your life so much easier okay product search you can search for products by cotton polyester 50 50 dry blends you can search by product name let's just put in gildan and if i type in gildan and then click this little drop down arrow every product i have in here that's made by gildan will pop up okay you know a lot of times you're searching for uh youth t-shirts but you don't have a style number that's what this is for you click it you got youth let's go down every youth shirt will pop up um, so any of these keywords you can key in lady shirts things like that will give you uh, um, give you what you're looking for you may do uh, heavy and I'm looking for a heavyweight cotton t-shirt don't really know what I want I don't know the name of it but I know that it's a heavyweight t-shirt okay so I can go through here this kind of reduces the list to where I can go through there and do that, okay? I may know that um, I want a soft style t-shirt. So I'm just gonna put in soft. I don't know the name of the t-shirt, the style number. I'm gonna put in soft style and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna look for the shirt that I want, okay? And these are all shirts pertaining to anything that is soft. It's, I mean, it's, it's very, very easy to do. Let's say, um, I know, let's try another one. Um, let's do a dry blend and see if that comes up. I don't know what all we can search by, but we're just going to go in and just have ourselves a ball and search by different thing. Here's the uh, G8800, okay? So let's say that I went in and I found the shirt that I wanted and I'm ready to go ahead and uh, put that into the computer. Right here you have style numbers and you can either go through this long list and search through stuff, okay? You'll be sitting here for a while trying to find that, that style number or you can click in this area and put G8800 and hit enter. That Gildan Dry Blend will pop up. That's why product search is so wonderful because you'll be able to search it by this style number here. So we've got the Gildan uh, Dry Blend Polo and let's go with the shirt color and you can either search through the shirt colors or you can do something like this and same thing you can type in the box and it'll put in the num the shirt now in uh, version 12 version 12 accommodates sizes small through 5x and you can enter in as you enter in the number of shirts your price at the end is going to change now for 2x and 3x shirts okay I just ordered two. It's going to automatically mark that up $2 uh, for 2X and 3X. And I believe 4X, if I add in a 4X shirt, it's going to automatically up, give me an upcharge of $4 in this calculator here. Okay, so I've got 19 shirts total here. I can go in, I can add up to three more, up to two more products for a total of three products. Uh, with this with this calculator so I can do three products and if I want to add another product let's say I'm gonna do the 5000 B and I'm gonna do that in just white and let's say I'm just gonna do four medium so it all just add up and everything will tally up as you go in I'm gonna do five because I want to hit that minimum it's just a habit of mine. So I've got a total of 24 shirts. I've got a product total. This is the product total for white shirts. And then I've got an area here where I can go in and it look, it has a little pop-up that tells me add one screen for printing a white underbrace base on 
dark shirts if the client wants wants it to be flash a flash white so I'm just gonna print one color so I've got one color of ink on the front I'm not gonna do anything on the back if you did something on the back the prices would change and you'd get a setup this is your discount right here that that's for you to see okay but we've got one screen so the setup fee is $25 if we added two screens that setup fee would change to $45. That's where you're going to be at in the beginning of the calculator, setting up your prices and things like that so that you'll know, so that once you get everything to this stage, it's just go, 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 go. Okay. So we've got a two color design here, 24 shirts. It's, we've got the setup fee, screen printing costs. We didn't add any names and numbers, but if we did want to add uh, names and numbers, Let's add uh, four of those, two of those shirts will have names, and let's say two of them will have numbers. For numbers, we, we're pricing by the digit, not by the number. So let's say number 10 is two digits and number four is one digit. So let's say we're gonna use number 21 and number 23, that would be four numbers, okay, on those two shirts. In our notes down here, we could just type in the sizes of those two shirts that are gonna have names and numbers on the back and we're good to go. In this area, if we were gonna add, um, let's say we were gonna add a light transfer to a shirt, we've got two and that'll give us the price of that. So that's how that all works. Anyways, it goes in, it subtotals everything up. If you wanna do a discount or if that person has already paid for screen fees in the past and you don't wanna charge them screen fees, you could easily go in and say, minus that 45 bucks, give them that discount, okay? So that's how that works. You can just go ahead and go down to rush fees. So at 14 days, there's no rush fee. Five to seven days, there's no rush fee. And you're gonna put these in as you want it to be. But a lot of times I have people that call me up their very last minute, so I've got a flat rush fee, okay? Flat three-day rush fee, 150 bucks. You can change yours, make it to be what you want it to be, or don't charge a rush fee. And you know, don't, that way, do it that way. Uh, but if you add a rush fee, there's the total. Okay, same thing for art for art let's say the art is ready there's no fee for that um we're going to do a vector convert all of this stuff will calculate that's why we call this a calculator folks in case anybody's ever wondered why i call this miss t's t-shirt calculator it's because it's calculating up the prices now let's go on down we've got shipping and this is where those shipping rates, where you can add those um, those shipping rates in, or you could do a store pickup or whatever. And I've got one more just empty spot here that you can put whatever you want to put there. Okay, so I've got a tax exempt total for schools and nonprofits, things like that, which will give me the total cost on that, which is six oh five fifty eight. It breaks down per shirt to twenty five twenty three. The cost with tax is going to be six thirty seven. So, let's say that I've got a customer and I'm ready to, you know, check them out. If they're if they're tax exempt, I'll give them that price. A lot of times, what I'll do is I'll just go right here. Oh, sorry, I may go right here and I may just take this and take this and fill this. Um, I'm sorry, not fill, but change this text 